stay calm. No, seriously, Maya, what the fuck is that? This looks a lot better after like years. <laughs> what I know you forgot. Yeah, about my best friend. You could do it to the others. There's more of you. A lot more of us. Well, three actually. Well, reality for a fit. It's gonna be way. It's, it's gonna be really good seeing another, having another member after a few years. Everybody, team meeting. Introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. I am Olivia, and I came here just like four minutes ago, and twenty-eight seconds ago. I am a new member, and I like the color green. Right in front of you are Willow and Cassie. The kid sitting next to me is Carlos. You all get here. I just want the backstories and I'll go last. No, I'll go first. Clay, I was 11 years old. Almost as old as you, Olivia. So, my mum and my dad decided to make up this plan to get rid of me. They heard that this place apparently kills and changes kids. So they decided to just somehow just leave me here and push me into that void. And I've never seen them since. I've been here. I've been hearing their voices for so long. I just don't even remember what they look like. I've been stuck here for almost seven, for like almost two years now. Okay now, Cassie, you go. Basically, I was almost eight years old and both my, my brothers decided to throw me in the woods and decided to play hide and seek. I heard someone near the border for a living and I tripped and fell into the border. And that's how I got here. Maya, you go. Basically, my parents never really loved me. Well, I felt like that. So one day my dad took me for a walk in the woods and he saw the border of the living room. He saw the border from the land of the living and just pushed me. Decided to just push me in there. Because it poked out my eyes, I thought I was dead when they ended so, because I lost so much blood. But they just decided to throw me out of the border so I wouldn't be their problem anymore. They just threw me here because they thought I was dead and I hoped that some wolves would eat me or something. Went missing, I decided to go looking for her around the border of the living and dead. So while I was looking, I found the border after a few weeks and decided to try going in, but I never knew that it might hurt so bad. But when I saw her at the border, I just, all that pain I felt somehow went away. I thought that I just somehow kind of disappeared when I saw her. Thank you guys so much for watching.